what is going on guys in last video we have successfully added all the categories in our application so that when we click on any categories it will display news of that category also we have integrated the search feature so that we can search for the news in this video we are going to implement the navigation in our application so whenever we click on any article it will navigate to another page and it will load the full article on that page so without ado let's get back to the project so first thing what we will do, we will create a new page. As you can see, this is the home page. Now we will create a new page so that when we click on this, it will open that page. So for that, what I will do, I will create a new Kotlin class. Let's call it as news article page file and let's make it composable and call it news article page. And here we can write just a text for now. Let's say news article page that's it so now whenever we click on this we want to navigate to this page so how we can do that we have to implement the navigation so to implement the navigation we have the type safe navigation which is stable now so we can use that let's go to navigation android we should add the dependency you can click over here now if you see over here we have the version 2.8.1 now you can click on kotlin you can see for Jetpack Compose, we need this navigation, which is the version 2.8.1 as of now. Let's copy these two lines from here. Let's get back to the project in the builder gradle that is app level. You can paste over here. So you can sync now. It will download the dependency. You can check on build. So it is success or not. It is success. Now for this navigation, for a type safe navigation, we need serializable as well. You can use the old method, but we will use serializable that is type safe. So for that, we have to add serializable library as well. So what I will do, I will add serializable Kotlin library. Go to this serialization documentation. And from here, we can add and you can click on Kotlin. You can see we have to add these two things. That is this plugin and then this dependency. So let's copy this serialization plugin. I'll copy this from here and in build at gradle that is app label, I'll paste over here. Here in the plugins, I'll paste, click on sync now. Now if you go back in the dependencies, you can copy this JSON serialization dependency and paste it over here below this can paste it here we will change the version to older one because this require kotlin to be 2.0 but our kotlin version is not 2.0 it is 1.9.0 so we have to change the serialization version to let's say 1.6.3 so that it will be compatible with our kotlin version so click on sync now so we have added the dependencies we can close this now for navigation what we have to do is first we have to create routes so what we will do i will go over here and create a new class which we will call as route and it will be a file and here we will create object for the screens so how many screens we have we have home page and we have news article page so two object i will create first one let's say home page and we should mark it as serializable let's call it as home page screen and i will create another serializable it will be object news article screen so we have two screen as of now now let's go to main activity and implement the navigation so first thing we should have a navigation controller so in the set content i will create nav controller which will be from remember nav controller and you can see over here we have by default the home page over here so instead of this home page we will pass nav host and we'll pass the start page so here nav host which has a start destination you can click over here this one and nav controller will be nav controller start destination it will be wherever we want to go when we launch the application so for this start destination will be whatever route we have created that is home page screen so we'll do here home page screen and here we'll pass the composable from route which composable we want to go so first composable will be composable the route will be home page screen for this home page screen the composable will be this one we'll cut this out and paste it over here so for this route we have home page we have second screen as well so i'll copy this paste it over here second screen will be news article screen that is the route and composable will be news article news article page here we don't require view models now we have created the route when we click on any article over here we have to navigate to this route so how we can do that to home page we have to pass the nav controller only then we can navigate so here in the home page after this news view model what will pass will pass nav controller as well and if you hover over here it will create the parameter so if you go to home page now we have nav controller over here that is parameter now with this nav controller we can navigate so each item over here is article item if you expand the article item you can see we have the card here we can set the on click so here what we will do on click of the card will navigate 
so here also we require navigation controller so what we will do nav controller and from this home page we will pass nav controller as well now on click of any card that is the news we will do nav controller dot navigate where to navigate now we want to navigate to news article screen so this is the route if you go to route these are the routes so whenever we click on this card it will navigate from this home page to news article screen let's run and test either it is navigating correctly or not so let's say we will click on this you can see we are navigated to news article page we have written a text over there that is news article page if you click on anything the news article page will be visible now how we will know which article has been clicked and which article should be displayed over here so for that we have to pass url of that article so that we can access that url over here and then we can display the page so to pass the argument with the nav controller what we have to do first thing whichever page is taking the arguments we have to add that over there so here in news article page you need url not the modifier so we'll use the url that is string so we can concat it so we can concat it over here let's say for now url whatever the url we get it will be visible over here so first thing we have added over here now in the route so this is the type safe route that's why what we will do here data class instead of object if it is taking the arguments here we will def here we will define whatever argument it is taking let's say it is taking string so this screen will require url whenever we are navigating so in the home page whenever we are navigating we'll pass article dot url from where we got this url it is in the article object if you see over here source author title and the url so from this url we got and we have passed it to news article screen now in main activity here you can see the error because this page requires the url so how we can get here the url from the arguments so here what we will do value arcs equals to it dot to route so whichever we are getting over here it will convert to route and which will be news article screen and in this argument all the argument will be there so here in news article page we need that url so here args dot you can see you can see we have a string url so if you go over here in the route and add something else let's say time int just for testing if you go to main activity you can see args dot time as well so it will automatically get all the argument so let's remove that now we are passing the url if i run now if i click on this you can see we have got the url we have concatenated over the text so washington post this is from this if you click on this nbc news so this is from nbc news that means it is dynamic whichever url we are clicking that is youtube you can see this is youtube.com so in this page you are getting the url so our first step is done we have got the url now we have to show the article that's it with the web view we have the web view so we will close everything from here we don't require anything let's open this news article page where we are showing the text instead of the text what we will show that is web view so web view is not incomposable so for that what we will do we will use android view which requires factory so in factory what we can do we'll get the context from here and with that context we'll implement the web view so web view so from context dot apply now here we can pass the settings like settings dot javascript enabled which will be true and we have to pass the web view client that is web view client and also the url so load url will be the url whatever we get from here so this is the url now that's it this is done we are implementing the web view we are passing the url it will automatically be visible if i run now now if i click on any news let's say click on this you can see the news article is visible if i go back let's click on another so the news article is visible in the web view whatever we have implemented let's go back again click on any category let's say technology and let's click on this apple one you can see the full article so in this way our simple news application is complete you can add more features to it but we have implemented the basic feature we can search the news we can click on any technologies but we have implemented the basic features we have integrated the api we can search the news we can click the news and view the articles so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye